This is so me. <laughs> We love boondocking at Cracker Barrel. One of the reasons is because Joe and I have a serious addiction with their hash brown casserole, but also they have specific RV parking and it makes it really easy to pull in for a night and get a good night's sleep and a hearty meal in the morning. Thank you for calling Cracker Barrel and Lakeland. This is Chantel. How can I help you today? Hi, good afternoon. I was wondering if I could speak to one of your managers. Sure, give me just a moment see if I can get you somewhere, okay? Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm calling because I wanted to find out if your location has RV parking. We do. You do. And would it be possible to spend uh, one night tonight? We're going to be traveling through. Yes. Park anywhere in my parking lot if you want to, okay? Okay, great. And we're going to come in for dinner, so we'll come by and introduce ourselves. Not a problem, okay? All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Right, Bye. We're going to pack up, uh, attach the tow car, and head over to the Lakeland Cracker Barrel. So Cracker Barrel has weekly lunch specials and dinner specials. Uh, we've had their meatloaf on Tuesdays. We've not tried the uh, chicken pot pie, but we've been looking forward to that. Another great thing about Cracker Barrel is they serve breakfast all day, and I can eat their hash brown casserole any time of the day, which is probably a dangerous thing, but it's so good. One other thing I love about Cracker Barrels is they have great signs on the freeway, so it's hard to miss. We're all set up at the Cracker Barrel over in Lakeland. When we pulled in, the RV and bus parking was actually full of cars and trucks. Uh, this has happened to us a few times. Luckily, the manager told us we could park anywhere on property, and we found a little spot in the back corner that's actually right along the freeway. So Joe's going to sleep like a baby with all the road noise. Now we're going to go in and grab something to eat. I do have one tip if you don't park in the RV bus parking area and end up in a spot like we have. Make sure to park your toad in front or behind the RV so you have enough room to get out. You never know how people will park around your RV and you don't want to get blocked in. Okay. That's really good. So close. 